My name's Andrew Jeffrey, and I'm very pleased to have been part of the uh, authoring and editing team for Max Maths Second Edition. In this short video, I'd like to talk to you a bit about the teacher guides. Now, those of you who are familiar with teacher guides won't be surprised to know that these ones contain everything you would expect a teacher guide to contain. For example, ideas about how to teach maths, ideas about the topics, the way in which they might be approached. And then a chapter corresponding to the chapter in the pupil book, which covers all the ideas, lesson activities, workbook resources, and so on. So it makes it easy for the teacher to plan. All they need to do is read the teacher guide, look at the pupil book, and make sure that they have examples ready, make sure they have answers prepared. And what I'd like to talk about now is how much better the second edition teacher guides are because of the extra bits that have been included. So even if you've used the teacher guide before, um, I think you'll be impressed by this. So firstly, um, within every suggested lesson activity, there are ideas for supporting children who maybe haven't got to the level that the teacher would like or are working a bit more slowly. Conversely, as you would expect, there are the opposite. There are ideas for challenging children who have, children who maybe have grasped the concept and are ready for some depth. Also, vocabulary. The teacher can, at a glance, see all the new vocabulary that is going to be included in that chapter. This allows them to pre-teach or prepare children for whom English isn't their first language, so that those children can access the lesson and feel confident. In this second edition, there are images of page in the student book, meaning the teacher can plan just from the teacher guide and doesn't even need to have the student book with them. This, of course, is a time saver, but also underneath the introductory double page spread for every chapter, there are a series of questions, questions designed for the teacher to ask the class. This has many benefits. A, it gives the teacher the way in to the activity. B, it allows them to assess by listening to the answers what sort of level of depth or prior understanding children already have. And it's only going to be beneficial to get those children engaged in the concept. Talking of concepts, every chapter ends with a very useful list, uh, first of key concepts, those things which are the big ideas in the chapter, but also, crucially, key skills. Can children do this? Can children do that? That leads nicely into this idea that there is an end of chapter check. At the end of every chapter in the teacher guide, the teacher can look and there will be a series of things for them to check. Can the children do this? Can they do this? Can they do this? It basically bookends the entire chapter. It gives you the lesson structure like any textbook would do. And then finally, here's how to check how successful it has been. I think it's a really valuable part of the Max Maths Second Edition. Mm -hmm.